Well, I'm all for relying on the power of... Oh. Was that not the quest? That's funny. Though our friends are searching for refined Adam and Titan sacred relics, we will only know if they meet your requirements once they've arrived. In the meantime, is there aught else we might do to be of service? Ha! Huh, you're already done more than enough. If I had to say, though, I could use someone who knows a thing or two about Allegan technology. You there, the lad with the red eyes and matching hair, you seem to know more than the average scholar. Ha! Huh, if only Master Coco knew how right he was. While he and Graha establish a rapport, why don't we help the preparations for the Great Exodus? Indeed, this would mean going above and beyond the terms of our arrangement, but I propose this not uh, to curry favor. As confident as I am that we will succeed, we must be ready for every eventuality. This would also be an opportunity to familiarize ourselves with the logistics of traversing the Great Expanse, and if nothing else, it beats twiddling our thumbs while we wait for the adamantine. Well, ain't you a bunch of helpful buggers? If you've a mind to lend a hand, I know where you ought to go. Charlene Hamlet is lousy with researchers and scholarly types busying themselves preparing for the exodus. Ha! That lot need all the help they can get. Well, then off we go. For all my Air Force guys, it's so hard to say off we go without saying into the wild blue yonder. If you know, you know. All right, we finally get to attune to more crystal aetherites. Very nice. Which, we're also closing in on the uh, end of Endwalker, which should be pretty calamitous, I would imagine. The climax of, uh, well, 6.1, I think it's the patch, 7.1? I don't know. <laughs> but... Once we're done with that, uh, we're going to start focusing on um, doing these quest clears. And I might just turn... Uh, yeah, no, that wouldn't work because I like to do them in a... I was going to say, we could just do one quest, clear it, and then, you know, post it on whatever. But I think what I'll end up doing is picking up all the quests in a zone and doing them in uh, a circuit-based order to help maximize efficiency uh, for either power leveling or whatever else you might have. So that'll be fun too. I'm gonna walk past this portion though first to uh, get to that uh, crystal. Because, uh, actually, all right, I'm confused. What do these guys even do? Chocobo Keep. Am I in need of a porter? Learn about them. Not enough gil to pay the bloody Aetherite teleportation fee, or perhaps you simply want to ride in peace, not having to worry about fumbling through your stuff. Then chuck a bow porter. Our birds will carry you quickly and safely to one of the many convenience stations for a small handful. Uh, okay, so they're not things that carry stuff for you. Okay, then I don't care. I have a mount. Uh, Sky Walcher. Those are interesting. Good! For once, no attunement issues, like that it's a shut down or some other nonsense. Alright. Pre programmable thing to mount up. You just gotta assign it to a hot bar. And then to those hot bars, you could assign, like, I could probably. Uh, chat log settings? Character settings? We're just gonna have to go back to that. Like, I'm guessing in the hot bars, for hot bar, what is, what is that, eight? Slot four, I guess? I could probably assign it to being something crazy like control N. Or not, uh, control, control, comma. And then if I do that, I can mount pretty easily. That's cool, I guess. It's good to know. All right. So enough with the simple distractions. We're gonna carry on. In order to protect the secrets of the central circuit, the researchers must navigate a bewildering maze of paperwork before they are permitted to return to the surface. 
Go figure. Bureaucracy. I suppose it's no different than any other aspect of Cholet in society. We do love our bureaucracy. It's very much a mirror of the city above, which is perhaps how it came to be called Charlet and Hamlet. What a quaint little settlement this is. A shame it is hidden underground. I don't mind a bit of heavy lifting, but I draw the line of paperwork. So much as wave a sheaf of documents at me and I'll put my lance through it. This guy. As surprised as I was to learn the forum plan to send everyone to the moon, I can't imagine how the common folk must feel about it. Do my senses deceive me? In the shadow of yon corner, one can but hope this leadeth not to mischievous undertakings. Well, I don't see squat, so... From what I can tell, a lot of people actually live down here. I don't know how much help we can offer, but I dare say they'll benefit from some of that fresh inspiration Scarlet Montechain mentioned. Let's start by asking around, ideally without getting in anyone's way. Let's meet by the Aetherite once our work is done. Let's give a hearty lally ho. We're gonna go ahead and mount up. And then... Looks like Silken Grin is the first one I see. A Vexed Veterinarian, okay. Distressed Chief, alright. That's still not quest related. So Silken Grin it is. What do we got? Oh, hello. Are you one of the new helpers? Working on the Aether Burner? Oh dear, I, th I hear things have come to a standstill on that front. Even so, I choose that over my current duties. Checking and loading samples day in, day out. It's tiring, thankless work. Still, no one will be cross if I misplace a few legumes or what have you. The form's got enough on their plate as is. What with deciding who gets to board the Ark and when. A lot of powerful people have opinions about that. Go figure. And another thing, because this arc of getting the people to the moon and who gets to live and die and who gets to go when and where, we're already doing that due to climate change and the destabilization of our economy and nation as a whole, right? We actually have, there are actual scientific institutions that are creating arcs and uh, archives of human history on the off chance we destroy ourselves. And yes, the movie 2012 where they built the arcs in the mountains of China, um, where it was funded by billionaires and the scientists chose the best genomes to move forward, was actually billionaires. Yeah. Like, this game really touches upon a lot of the, uh, the unspoken or the not out loud spoken facets of modern society and uh, political current events. This being pretty on the nose. My heart goes out to Master Foshino and the others. Hardly get a moment's rest, I expect. They even have time to sleep. Well, that's not my problem. Leaders should be taking care of people. And if they're a little sleepless for the problems, then oh well. Helping with the Ark, even with all the power Master Kokos managed to squeeze out of the afterburner, it's still not enough, apparently. And now I hear the final days have arrived, horrible creatures riding the rampart all over. If only we'd begun the exodus sooner. People are dying and there'll be no end to it if we don't fulfill our duties. But we will. We spent years preparing for this moment. Believe in the plan and all will be well. At least y'all have a plan. Because our plan is to let the poor die. And let people suffer until they riot. And then, brutally well the riots with military and law enforcement and if you think that isn't going to happen in our country as civil unrest continues to well get out of hand uh if the economy continues to go to shit and price gouging not inflation price gouging continues to rise the riots that are going to happen and the people who are going to be called into active duty service and the the strong handedness of the uh law enforcement is going to be ludicrous 
offering to help. That's very kind, but I should be able to organize the rest of the documents by myself. It's mostly a list of the things we'll need once we arrive on the moon, and then whichever star we choose as our new home. My duties largely concern the maintenance of living conditions, so I'll be a lot busier after we depart. I hear that our lunar collaborators have come down to assist in our efforts. I'm looking forward to finally meeting them in person, after having communicated with them in such a limited capacity thus far. To be perfectly honest, I've not even the slightest idea what they look like. I do hope they're not enormous looming giants. Why, I would much prefer something small and fluffy, like that behafted rabbit that ran by. That's that's exactly what they are. The beheaded rabbit from nearby. Maybe I should have made it a single button press. Is there anything? Nice. Check this out. Keybind. Hot bar. Eight number four. Oh, that's definitely yeah. Why? Boom. We are good to go. Another lolly ho. Oh, living way is back. And all the ways are back. Crikey, I wasn't expecting to see you here, Saganoft. Sorry I didn't have a chance to say goodbye and for uh, having those other Loperics attack you. Terrible uh, misunderstanding, that. Not to worry, though, as all have since recovered from the rather savage beating you administered. It bear you no ill will. Well, perhaps a little, on account of the savagery. But time heals all wounds. Most, anyway. How marvelous it is to see you again. You'll be pleased to hear I've learned much since our fascinating discussion at the Caratorium. It's all thanks to Arianjay, you see. He's taught me the finer points of cooking, which, despite my name, I know very little about. So many dishes. So many hard-to-pronounce words. Actually, I was rather hoping he'd show me how to bake an Arkin loaf. They're quite popular, I hear, though it doesn't sound like it contains any flavor to speak of. Still, if that's the sort of thing your kind enjoys, she'll make enough to last the whole journey. What joy to simple the delights of Etheries. It would appear the Loperitz have infiltrated Charlene's most heavily guarded facility. How, I know not. Well, they're little tiny bunnies. It's easy to sneak around. Fancy meeting you here, Sagenhaft. Our friends of the Forum brought us to see their teeny tiny boat, which was quite impressive considering they didn't use any creation magics. What we're really interested in is the Therese itself, though we now find ourselves in a sort of funny, underground, miniaturized version of it. We were hoping the Forum would give us a guided tour, but it appears they're rather preoccupied. Honestly. All that time to prepare, and they're still not ready. I suppose we'll just have to show ourselves around, or at least that's what we were planning to do until we chanced upon Urianje and your goods itself. Since you're both dawdling about engaging in idle chit-chat, perhaps you could show us a few points of interest. Won't that be fun? Sure. 